Hi, I'm Audrey Childers, Public Information Officer for the Darlington County School District with some of the highlights of the October 8, 2018 Darlington County Board of Education meeting. The board reviewed and approved the minutes of past board meetings, monthly adult education admissions, incident and vandalism reports, quarterly reports, and budget reports. They then approved first reading of a revision to the policy JKE that deals with the expulsion of students. The board revised the policy to allow the superintendent or his designee to hear the appeals of the hearing officer. Next, the board heard an update on the new construction from Dale Collier of Brownstone Construction Company. Work is progressing on all of the projects. In September, we broke ground on the Darlington School. One building has already been demolished and removed, and the site work has begun. In Hartsville, the various permits and bids are coming to fruition. We expect to break ground in both Lamar and Hartsville in mid-December. The timelines on the three schools are slightly different because we are building on existing property in Darlington. In both Hartsville and Lamar, we had to find property that met our requirements and pass the necessary inspections. And then, of course, we had to negotiate the purchases. That put us slightly behind the Darlington project. Still, we expect everyone to be in the schools in 2020. Finally, the board approved a revised calendar that makes up the seven student days that we missed as a result of Hurricane Matthew. November 5th, February 15th, March 7th and 8th, April 19th and June 7th are now regular school days. As Dr. Newman has said repeatedly, it's all about our students. We want to give them every opportunity to learn and to succeed. State law requires that we make up at least three days, and then the school board may forgive three days after that. By making up these days from Hurricane Matthew, it gives us flexibility as we move into the winter season in case we have to deal with inclement weather from winter storms. The board did discuss revisiting the calendar once the winter season is over to see if additional adjustments need to be made. A copy of the revised calendar will be sent out to everyone this week. And those are the highlights of the October 8th, 2018 Don County Board of Education meeting. Have a great day.